Hello everyone, welcome to my lecture on Unit 4, Topic 10. Solving the problem relating to financial final accounts with adjustments. So this is a balance sheet, uh, sorry, this is a trial balance that is given to you from which you are supposed to prepare the financial statements. That is, the following balances were extracted from the books of Thomas as on 31st March 2018. Prepare your trading account, profit and loss account as well as a balance sheet from the given information. These are the trial balance with, in addition to that, these are the three adjustments you are supposed to make in the statements while preparing it, right? How to make these adjustments? We have, uh, we have already learned in the previous session. Now here, I will help you out in identifying all the items that are given in the trading account, which will be falling under these three aspects that is trading account, profit and loss account as well as your balance sheet. Beside it, I will be noting it out down. Purchases, purchases, it will, it is a item belonging to trading account. Trading account, it will be appearing on the debit side of the trading account. Return inwards is again trading account on the credit side. Return inwards is nothing but your sales returns which has to be has to be deducted from sales. Right? Similarly, opening stock is again a trading account item appearing on debit side, fright inwards, trading account, debit side, wages, trading account, debit side, investments as balance sheet, asset side, bank charges is P&L account, debit side, Land is balance sheet assets. Missionary again on balance sheet appears in balance sheet asset side. Buildings balance sheet assets. Cash at bank is balance sheet asset. Cash in hand is balance sheet asset. Now coming to the other side of this is capital is. It will be balance sheet. This is a balance sheet item up here in the liability liability side this is also balance sheet liabilities sales trading account credit side and return outwards is trading account debit side this is otherwise known as purchase returns has to be deducted from purchases. Right? So we'll drop all the relevant items into their respective accounts and see and balance the accounts. Let us move with the process now. So here in the, in, the, in the books of Thomas, trading and PNL and account for the year ending 31st March is being given here. So all the items what are we identified here? This top one is a trading account and PNL account. Your opening stock is here. Your purchases, purchase returns. Right in words, wages, sales, sales returns that is return outwards has to be detected and the final amount is posted in the uh, outer column. 
If you observe this, there are two columns maintained for this amount aspect that is in the inner column, the items which are having the adjustments will be written here and the final value will be posted in the outer column. Right? So bank charges is one and hmm. coming to balance sheet this is the capital item creditors land buildings machinery investment stock in trade that is uh, stock cash at bank and cash at cash in hand Now we'll look into how the adjustment has to be done. The asked adjustments are pertaining to closing stock is 9,000 rupees. The first adjustment 9,000. So it is being entered on the asset side of the balance sheet here. 9,000. The first adjustment. The same 9,000 will be again reflected in trading account here the twofold effect for this adjustment pertaining to closing stock once in balance sheet and another side and another in credit side of the trading account the next adjustment is provide depreciation at 10% provisionally this is a machinery the final value is 10,000, 27,000 is the value of the asset at the end of the financial year. So, the same created depreciation or the provided depreciation will be again written here in the PNL account debit side here to depreciation on machinery is 3000 rupees it's an expenditure considered to be an expenditure for the firm right so the third adjustment is interest accrued on investments rupees 2000 so in interest on investment is accrued that is outstanding on this investments so you are going to add it to that so that the, the total investments at the end of the year will be standing at 12,000 rupees. The same accrued amount or outstanding amount again will be entered here on the credit side of the PNL account because this is an income that has to be earned that, has, that is supposed to be received by the firm. This is accrued interest on investment, right? So the twofold effect will be adding to the respective item, and again, that is an income that is outstanding, adding to the respective asset as well as entering on the credit side of the PL account. Now, let us see how to balance the accounts here. Now, we are here with your sales. beginning with the total here generally the credit side of the trading account will be high in total the same highest value will be written here against which the items here the above items are to be deducted so the balancing amount is nothing but your gross profit what we called it as a balancing figure this is this much is the amount if you total here if this is the balancing amount when added it becomes 1 lakh 27 thousand 
So this balancing figure amount will will term it as a gross profit carried down. So the same gross profit from the trading account will be transferred to the PNL account as here it is appearing on the debit side. Again, it will be appearing on the credit side of the balance sheet income, indicating it as an income. So it is entered as by gross profit brought down with the same amount that is 37,000. Now again, you are going to balance the both the sides that is debit side as well as the credit side of the PNL account. On credit side, the total is 39,000. The same that being the highest total, we'll put the same 39,000 here against which you are going to deduct the relevant expenditures of the PNL account. So the re remaining amount will be nothing but your net profit. So gross profit minus expenses, operating expenses as well as admin expenses, whatever it is, the remaining amount will be your net sales. Now this net sales is nothing is arrived at 35,000, this will be again transferred to capital account of the balance sheet. So coming here, the net profit is added to the capital here, which is carried forward from the P&L account. So the total amounting to uh, total amounting to 95,000. So creditors are there. So, so all the three adjustments are done, right? Now we'll sum up the asset side as well as the liability side. So the condition that has to be satisfied here is the asset side should be equal to the credit side. is how the balance sheet will be balanced, right? There is another problem given here. I'll just help you out in identifying these things. Purchases is trading account, debit side, wages trading account, debit side, freight inverse trading account, debit side, advertising is p and account, debit side, carriage outwards, p and account, debit side, cash, balance sheet asset, Missionary balance sheet asset, data's balance sheet asset, bills receivables again balance sheet asset, stock on 1st January, this will be an opening stock since it is at 1st January and the preparation of account is as on 31st March. Trading account, debit side, now sales, trading account, credit side, commission received is PNL account, credit side. Rent received is also an income, PNL account, credit side. If it is rent paid, it will be on debit side. Creditors, balance sheet, liabilities, capital balance sheet, 
and I have like this. So dropping in this are the adjustment task for you to make commission received in advance is 400 advertisement paid in advance is 150 wages outstanding is 200 closing stock is on 2100 straight away i'll just uh, show you how the adjustments are being done commission received in advance Commission received in advance here. You are, you are deducting it from the already received. So the same amount again it will be. On the liability side of the balance sheet with 4000 rupees here okay coming to the second adjustment advertisement paid in advance so whether the advertising expenses advertising expenses are paid in advance so that amount has to be directed from here so the total advertising expenses incurred in this year for which the financial statements are prepared as 3000 uh, sorry 350 the, the deducted amount again will be represented on the asset side of the balance sheet. Right? The third adjustment is wages outstanding to the extent of 200 rupees. So wages outstanding that means you are supposed to pay. is added to the concerned account that is wages account and the same will be written on the liability side of the balance sheet the last adjustment is closing stock as on 31st march 2016 is amounting to rupees 2100 so outrightly it will be appearing appearing on the asset side 2100 stock in trade and the next entry would be in your trading account on the credit side right so again the balancing of accounts we are coming across the highest total to be on the credit side here the same highest total is written here, right? From this highest total, reduce, deduct all the above items so that the balance will be this one. So this is nothing but your balancing figure, what we call it as gross profit. So this gross profit is transferred to this PNL account, next PNL account, as uh, stating it as. Gross profit brought, brought down the same 4650 here. So again, this credit side income of the uh, income side of the PL account is only, and this is the same highest total is represented here. When income is high, obviously it will be a profit. So from this 6750, uh, 6, you are going to deduct. The relevant as listed out expenses and you will be left out with a balance here this is again a balancing figure nothing but your net profit transfer to capital account this net profit is added to your capital this is a total now okay and and sum up the asset side as well as the liability side. Liability side is equal to asset side. Now we see the balance sheet is balanced now after making all the relevant adjustments. 
This is how the financial statements are prepared with making the appropriate adjustment that has been asked for. I'll end up the session here. Thank you.